Hello, sweet ones. Welcome to your practice. This is going to be an intermediate flow class. And I just want to remind you to modify where you need to, to make sure that the movement and the breath that you are nourishing yourself with are really in alignment with what your body needs. So if at any time you feel like you need to um, just switch it up a little bit to really honor where you're at today, please do that. We'll start in seated, palms pressed. And draw the awareness inside your body, your being, starting to tune in, to feel more, to notice more. The breath gets a little bit fuller, a little bit deeper. And I'll invite you to set an intention for your practice. What brings you to the mat? What is it that you are cultivating in your life? How do you want to show up in your life? The answers to those questions will inform your intention and distill it down until you have a single word or a short phrase, something your mind can come back to. But the real potency comes from bringing this intention to life inside of you. And you can use imagery if that helps to actually create an internal shift. So your inner world becomes coherent with your intention. The resilience, the joy, the love, the peace that you seek starts to spring forth from the depths of your own being. We begin with a single sound of OM, cleansing breath, breathe in, clear out, inhale to OM. From here, sweet ones, the eyes can blink open. We're just going to make our way into a standing forward fold. So coming to the top edge of your mat, feet are at least hip distance apart. You're going to have a bend in the knees. With this bend in the knees, the hamstrings relax and it allows you to tilt the pelvis so the sit bones point up and the head just hangs heavy. You might shake it out. Let's breathe up together, exhale, decompress through the torso. Breathing in, breathe up to, breathing in, breathe up three, breathing in, breathe up four, Breathing in and breathe out. Five, soften the knees, run navel to spine, roll up, round up, one vertebra at a time. Draw your full attention into your back body as you unfurl. Feel more. From there, you're going to make your way again to the top edge of your mat if you're not already there. Feet are hip distance apart. Exhale, press the palms to heart center, empty. Inhale, just bend the knees, float the arms up. Keep the knees roughly over the ankles and exhale, rise. Nice and slow, inhale to lower. Exhale, rise. And breathing in, two, three, four, exhale, rise, two, three, four, breathing in, two, three, four, exhale, rise, two, three, four, keep going, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and 
exhale. For three. For two. And one. And exhale, rise. Inhale, draw the right knee up. Exhale, step the right leg back. Reach the right arm forward. Inhale, draw the right knee up. Come up to stand on. And then exhale, extend out for that lunge shape. Breathe in, rise up. Knee lifts. Exhale, extend. Five more like that. Go so slow. The slower you move, the more intense the sensation. So the harder the body has to work, don't let momentum move you. Move from the strength of your own muscles. Three more. Two more. Last one. And with your exhale, reach that right leg back, land the toes set up for your lunge. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Three more like that, breathing in. Breathe out. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. Inhale, draw up through center, lengthen through the torso. Exhale, start to rotate, coming into a prayer twist. Right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Breathe out there. Breathe in, keep lengthening through the crown. Breathe out to rotating from the belly. And breathing in, breathe out three, breathing in, breathe out four, breathing in, and exhale, look down, hands are going to frame that left foot, you're going to step back to plank pose, option to drop the knees here, you're going to exhale, weight shifts forward slightly, lower through chaturanga, Inhale, press up. Exhale to lower. Inhale to rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Two more. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Hold this plank, really strengthen here. Breath of fire, pump the belly. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, press back down dog. Breathe in. Clear out. Breathe in. Clear out. Breathing in. And clearing out. Inhale, lift the left leg up behind you, look to the hands. Exhale, step that left foot through the hands, lower the right knee down. You're going to inhale, rise up. Now extend that left knee a little bit, and then tuck the tailbone under. From here, hands are going to come to the low back. Option one, fingers point down. Option two, fingers point up. And then from here, we're going to start to move into a camel type shape. So you're going to start to lift the sternum up as you lunge back into that left foot. Keep driving the pubic bone forward. Keep lifting through the sternum. Chin is either right to chest or extend the neck fully and release the head. Breathing in and out. Breathing in. And out for three. 
screen. For two. And one. Inhale to rise up out of that camel shape. From here, you're gonna step onto that left foot, maybe in a few choppy movements and maybe one fluid movement, warrior three. Option one, stay here. Option two, exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend. For three. For two. And one. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, land the right foot down. Inhale, circle the arms up overhead, lift the gaze. Exhale to fold forward, just flushing through a vinyasa. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump the feet back, lower through push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. And out, soften the knees, look to the hands, and then you're gonna step or float feet towards hands. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up, lift the gaze. Exhale, hands float down through prayer. Step the feet hip distance if they're not already. And then inhale, Lower the buttocks down, bend through the knees, keep sending the bum back. Inhale, rise. Sorry, inhale, bend. Exhale, rise. For three. For two. Last one. Inhale, lift the left knee up. And then exhale, step the left leg back. Inhale, draw the left knee up, rise. Exhale, lunge it back, nice and slow. Inhale, drop in and up, lift the knee. Exhale, extend out, reach. Breathe in. And out. For three. For two, last one. With this exhale, extend that left leg back, land the foot, and inhale, rise up, high lunge. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, come up to your center. Exhale to rotate. Let the breath move you, inhale, fill up, lengthen, get taller, exhale, rotate, belly engages. Two more. One more. With your inhale, arms are gonna reach up through center, Exhale, prayer twist. Hook the left elbow across the outer right thigh and breathe out. Keep reaching forward through the crown. Press back through the left heel. Breathe out two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Breathe in. Exhale, look down. Hands are going to frame the right foot. Step back. Plank pose. 
Exhale, lower chaturanga, option to drop the knees down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Now keep going. Notice if you are rushing. Slow it down. Last one, exhale. Inhale, up. Plank pose, breath of fire. Five, four, three, two, one, and press back down, dog. Ah, you may sigh, hum, moan, clear out. Shake up the head. Good. From here, inhale, take the right leg up behind you, look to the hands. Exhale, step the right foot through. Lower the left knee down. Now you're gonna rise up a little bit for low lunge. Take a little bit of the bend out of the front knee. Square the hips to the top of the mat and start drawing the tailbone under, pubic bone lifts. From here, setting up for that low lunge camel shape we did on the other side. Hands to the low back. And then from there, drag the pubic bone forward, lift the sternum up and maybe start to sink into that right knee. Keep your breath full. Chin either to chest or extend the neck long. Release to heaven. Breathing here for four. For three. For two. And one. And inhale, you're gonna rise up. From here, you're gonna spring forward onto that right foot. Reach the arms forward or out to the sides. Option to stay static or exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, rise. Exhale to bend. Inhale to rise. For three. For two. And one. Good, inhale, rise up, reach up. And exhale, land that left foot down. Breath of joy from the Kundalini yoga tradition. You're gonna inhale the arms up, out to the sides, up, and then softness in the knees. You swing the arms back. Now the mantra is hud. Had, had, hurry, had, 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 hurry. Had, 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 hari. Three more. Had, 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 hari. Had, 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 hari. Had, 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 hari. And inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, keep reaching. Breathe in, fill up. And exhale, start to part the hands. And as the hands circle around the body, can you feel into that electromagnetic field around you? Can you expand that field with your breath? Take just one pause here, hand on heart, hand on belly. Feel your beating heart. Open to your deepest truth. Open to the wisdom inside of you and feel your resilience, your strength. And from here, the hands will float down, will continue to flow 
Exhale, press the hands together at the heart center. Breathe out. Inhale, arms reach out, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump the feet back, lower to your push up. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now inhale, you're going to come forward towards plank. Now from here, you're going to roll to the outer edge of the right foot, coming onto the right hand. Side plank, really press up through the hips, reach up through the hand. See if you can lift that right wrist a little bit away from the floor. You won't be able to, but that action of trying will take some of the pressure out of the wrist. Lift the left leg up, and then step the left foot behind the right knee. Wild thing, inhale, spring up, lift the pelvis, lift the heart, open. And then from here, you're going to look to the top left corner of your mat, and you're going to step the left foot up to the top left side of your mat. With an inhale, you're going to lift up, and then exhale, bend into the left knee, warrior two. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Five more breaths here. Exhale, five. Exhale, four. Exhale, three. Exhale, two. Exhale, one. Inhale, exalt your warrior. Breathe and reach up. Breathe out, three. Breathe in. Breathe out, two. Breathe in. And breathe out one. Now from here, listen carefully, you're going to pivot on your feet. The top arm, that left forearm, is going to come down in front of the right foot as you bend the right knee. Right arm is going to reach up. Breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. And exhale, three. Now listen carefully. You're going to look to the top edge of your mat. You're going to spiral on your feet. Go through like a low lunge. Sweep the right arm up. Breathe up one. Breathe in. Breathe up two. Breathe in. And breathe out three. Now from here... You're going to lift up towards triangle pose. So extend the left leg long, pelvis tilts, reach up through the top arm, breathe out one. Breathing in. Breathe out two. Breathing in. Exhale, you're going to look down and then inhale, come up to warrior two. Exhale there. Now those four movements that we just did, we're gonna do them one breath per movement. It's a flow from Glossology Yoga. Inhale, left palm skyward, lift up. Exhale, left forearm to right foot, twist. Inhale, pivot to the top edge of your mat, low lunge, sweep the right arm up. And then exhale, extend up, triangle. Inhale, humble warrior, breathe in. Exhale, left forearm to right foot, twist. Inhale, pivot forward for that low lunge, lift up through the right arm. Exhale, extend the legs, triangle. One more, inhale, humble warrior. Exhale, twist. Inhale, come to a lunge at the top edge of your mat, sweep the right arm up, lift. And then exhale, extend the legs, triangle. 
Inhale, come up to warrior two. Exhale there. And then step to the top edge of your mat. Half salutation. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale to rise up, reach up, lift the gaze. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Take a full breath in, open the arms, lift the sternum. Breathe out three, press the palms. Inhale, part the arms, lift the sternum up, fill up. Exhale, two, press the palms. Breathe in, part the arms, lift the heart. And exhale, one. Same sequence, other side. Inhale, circle the arms up, lift the gaze. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float the feet back, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now inhale, come forward through plank. And then exhale, roll onto the outer edge of the left foot. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Try to bring some lightness into that left wrist. And breathe out there. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, step the right foot behind the left knee. And then breathe in, lift the pelvis, open the heart up to the sky. And breathe out. Breathe in, keep reaching. And then exhale, look to the top right corner of your mat. And you're going to step the right foot to that corner. From there, pivot on the feet, rise up. Warrior two, exhale, there. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Where can you soften? Breathe in. Breathe out. Five more, breathe in. And out. For four. For three, for two, and one. Inhale, front palm skyward, exalt your warrior. Lift up, elevate, breathe out one. Breathe in, breathe out two. Breathe in. And exhale, you're going to look to the left foot. Right forearm is going to come down to the earth. You're pivoting on the feet. Left arm lifts. And breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. And exhale, three. Left hand comes down. You're going to pivot on the feet. Come into a low lunge. And reach that left arm up and breathe out one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. And breathe out three. Look down, moving now into triangle pose. You're gonna extend the legs. Pelvis tilts to the side. Reach up through the top arm, lift and breathe out one. Breathe in, breathe out two, breathe in, and breathe out three, look down, soften the right knee, inhale up through center, exhale there. So same thing, one breath per movement, breathe in, humble warrior, lift up, exhale right forearm to left foot twist. Inhale, move forward for that low lunge. Sweep the left arm up, fill up. Exhale, triangle. Breathe in, exalted warrior. Exhale for your twist. 
Inhale to the top edge of your mat. Pivot on the toes. Lift through the left arm. And exhale, triangle. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to twist. Inhale for that low lunge. And exhale, triangle. And then inhale, lift up warrior two. Exhale there. From here, we're gonna pivot on the feet. Inhale, open the arms out to the sides. Exhale, hands to hips. Breathe in, lift the heart. And then exhale, we're gonna fold forward. You might come in with bent knees. Keep the sit bones lifting behind you. Inhale to lift and lengthen the spine. And then exhale, start to draw the head towards the earth. Breathing in. And breathing out. And breathing in. And breathing out. For three. For two. And one. Now inhale, you're gonna lift up halfway. You're gonna take your hands to the top edge of your mat, and you're gonna heel toe the feet together at the back edge. Now from here, you're gonna inhale, lift the right leg out to the side, straight up to the side. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, left leg, straight out to the side. Exhale, lower. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Getting into the glute medius here. Exhale. Breathing in and out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing Breathing in and breathing out. Take a full breath there, fill up. And exhale, clear out. Now you're gonna take the left peace fingers and thumb around the left big toe. Right hand is either on the floor or you might have it on a prop. And then with an inhale, lift the left leg out to the side and stay one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Breathe in. And breathe out three. Left foot comes down. Inhale, lift and lengthen spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, set up on the left side, or opposite side, sorry. So you're going to take the peace fingers and thumb around the opposite foot. Ground down through that right hand. And then inhale, lift up and out to the side. Breathe out one. Breathe in, breathe out two, last inhale, lift, and exhale, release. Whew. Inhale, lift and lengthen, exhale, clear out. And then from there, you're gonna walk your hands towards the top edge of your mat, step back, down dog. Take an inhale, come forward towards plank, Exhale to lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, you can inhale, look towards the hands. Exhale, soften the knees and step or float through if you're seated. Moving into Navasana. You're going to find a steady balance point on the pelvis. Thighs come in towards the chest. Now with the, you're gonna say hud, so the mantra is hud, hari. Hud, the legs come up. Hari, you rock to the right, draw the legs in. Hud, legs up. Hari, come to the left. Hud, hari. Hud, hari. Hud, hari. Hud, hari. Hud, 
Hari, Han, 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 Hari, almost there, Han, Hari, Han, Hari, Han, Hari, Han, Hari. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, cross the ankles, plant the hands, see if you can lift the bum, lift the feet for three, two, and exhale, lower down. From here, make your way down onto your back. Bend through the knees, heels are gonna come back so you can brush them with the fingertips. Start just by roboting the arms, bend at the elbows, palms face each other. Inhale to peel the pelvis, low back, middle back up. Exhale to lower down. Inhale to peel up. Exhale to lower. Move with your breath. Now, if you are wanting to energize, you might move the breath a little faster, a little stronger. If you're trying to calm the nervous system, you'll start to lengthen the exhales, move a little slower. For three, two, and one. Good. Now from here, setting up for some front body openers or back bends as they're often called. So you're gonna to start to peel low back, middle back, up away from the earth. Option one, you're just gonna stay here and hold. Option two, interlace the hands behind the back, maybe walk the shoulders under and breathe out there. And breathing in. And breathe out two. Breathing in, breathe out three, breathing in, breathe out four, breathing in, and exhale, release the bind, lower down. Take a full breath in, clearing breath out. Now, if you've had enough, you can stay here. Feet wide, knees together, or feet together, knees wide. Otherwise, setting up for your next round, same thing, or if you work full wheel, you might place the hands up by the ears. With an inhale, start to peel the pelvis and spine away from the floor. Maybe lifting up and breathe out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. And with the exhale, lower down. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Good, from here, draw the knees in towards the chest. Rock and roll along the spine. If that doesn't feel good, you can always roll to one side and press up to a seat. And then eventually finding that seat. You're going to inhale, rock forward. Keep the chin roughly level to the earth. Just draw the sternum forward. Exhale, rock the spine back. Inhale, draw forward through the chest. Exhale, curl the spine back. So again, you can move as quickly or slowly as feels good for you. For 
three, two, and one. Now from there, keep the hands on the knees. You're gonna inhale one side, exhale the other. Breathe in and out. So it could be a slow, steady breath, or you might move almost into a breath of fire tempo. If you want a little bit more activation, a little bit more, uh, you know, rising up from the inside, that kind of turning on your nervous system, switching it on, getting you ready for your day, ready for the next steps. center and clear out. From here, you're going to take the soles of the feet together, knees wide, and draw the heels back towards the pelvis. Make sure you're on the front edge of your sit bones. Inhale, find lift and length, grow a little taller, and then exhale, maintain that length. Keep reaching through the crown. Keep growing taller as you tilt forward from the pelvis. Take a full breath in and out. Breathing in. Breathe out too. Breathing in. Breathe out three. Breathing in. Breathe out four. Breathing in. And breathe out. Five. Inhale, rise back up through center. Extend the legs long. Palms are going to press down on the thighs. The inhales will bring you up through center. Exhale, rotate the chest slightly so it aligns to the extended foot. And then exhale, fold over that one leg. The inhale brings you up through center, rotate the chest opposite foot and fold. All the while you're pressing down on the legs, inhale through center, rotate, exhale, fold. Inhale through center, exhale, rotate and fold. So once you've got that movement pattern, you might close the eyes, you might move a little faster, a little slower. For three, two, and one. Inhale, come up through center, draw the legs together. Paschimottanasana, you're seated. Forward fold, again, make sure you're on the front edge of your sit bones. Knees can bend if they need to. Inhale, find that lift, that length. You might stay here, or if it's available, the pelvis tilts, sit bones move back. You can take this long integrated torso over the thighs. Breathe out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. For three. For two. And one. Take your inhale, come up through center. And then exhale, come down onto your back. From here, setting up for shoulder stand. Now make sure that you have watched the tutorial on how to safely perform shoulder stand. Another option is just to take the legs up the wall 
or even just rest with the legs extended up. And those of you working shoulder stand, you're gonna to start to take the feet over the head. Make sure you don't turn the head from side to side. So moving first into plow pose, walk the elbows towards each other. And then the hands will stay at the low back as you start to lift up through the feet and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out too. Breathing in, breathe out three. Breathing in, breathe out four. Breathing in, breathe out five. Now keep that breath flowing. If your body invites you to come out early, take that invitation. Otherwise, another eight breaths here. Five more. Three more. Two more. And last inhale to reach up through the leg. And then with the exhale, you're going to hinge at the hips with control, lower the toes towards the floor above the head. If the feet are floating, keep the hands at the low back. If the feet are firmly planted on the floor, you can interlace the hands, extend the arms down on the earth, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out two. Breathing in, breathe out three. Breathing in, breathe out four. Breathing in, and breathe out five. Bring a softness to the knees. Plant the hands down on the floor and then slowly roll out one vertebra at a time. And they're lowering the legs down to the earth. Setting up for fish pose, you're gonna take the hands just underneath the area where the glutes meet the thigh and then inhale. Start to peel the heart skyward. Crown of the head is to the earth, but there's no pressure in the neck. Breathe out, and breathe in, breathe up two, breathe in, breathe up three, breathe in, breathe up four, breathe in, and breathe out five, release the Head unravel. From here, you're going to bend into the knees, open the arms out to the sides, and just allow the legs to windshield wipe from side to side. Take your awareness inside, feel into the pelvis, feel up the length of the spine into the belly, the chest, the neck, the back of the head, and just move from the inside out. The imagery here is just like a cat rolling out in the sun. Last posture, thread the needle. I'm gonna take the right ankle over top of the left thigh. Option one, stay here. Option two, start to draw that left thigh in towards the chest and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe up two. Breathe in. Breathe up three. Breathe in. Breathe up four. Breathe in. 
and exhale five release the left foot down right leg unravels and then just switch sides left ankle over right thigh or opposite of what you did last time option one stay here Option two, start to draw that right thigh in towards the chest, maybe interlacing the hands, and breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe up two. And breathe in. Breathe out three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Breathe in. And exhale, release the right foot down. Unravel the legs. And then setting up for Shavasana, your final relaxation. The legs flop out to the sides, arms slightly away from the body, palms face up. And take a few cleansing, clearing breaths. <sighs> Releasing any final tension, repress emotion, clear it out of the body. The eyes close or the gaze rests in a single point as the awareness draws inward. Feel into your body and relax it. Feel deeply into your body and relax it more. Notice the places where your body is in contact with the earth beneath you. Feel those points of contact, of pressure between your body and the floor. And allow yourself to soften into that support, letting go. all of your attention to your inner world and feel for the pulsing the vibration of life inside of you and all around you And stay here for at least five minutes. Feel more, notice more, experience your being more deeply. Thank you for sharing your practice. Namaste.